Kent Peterson says he is a victim in this story. In February, the bank contacted him and warned him about a possible forgery. Each check was supposed to have two signatures, his and Hannah Noor's. She was also on the executive. The check was written to Noor for $300 and signed by Noor. It also had Peterson's forged signature. I called back the bank and I said, freeze it, freeze the account. No money in, no money out. Um, because this one check issue is enough for me to put the brakes on until we can get all the information here. And so this created an awkward moment for Peterson. On the one hand, it appears Nur may have forged his signature. On the other hand, he's helping her get elected. She was running to replace him as student council president. I think most people would agree it would be irresponsible for me on the basis of one council check to sort of run up and down the hallway and say, you know, this student is stealing money and so on. It's important, and, and I'll stand by this, I think it's important to get all the information first. But some say Peterson didn't handle this properly. Our concern was it does not appear that Mr. Peterson made any efforts to at least alert the board to the possibility of this. That never happened. Young says if the student union board knew of these allegations, it may have stepped in and overturned the election. So if there's something to hide here, that is a problem for us, given that the position that she's running for as president, and given that the position that she's running for not only gives her signing authority um, not the same signing authority as last year, but a signing authority on all of the Ursu accounts, all of the contract Ursu signs. As for the missing money, Peterson says Noor promised to repay it. He's not sure if she has, and he's not sure if he'll be pursuing this with police. Jeff Leo, CBC News, Regina.